What's up everyone, it's your boy xman 87 here bringing you another Marvel Legends review video and this time what I have for you today is the Marvel Legends Spider-Man Far From Home Scorpion action figure review. And before I get into everything, if you could please leave a like rating on the video as it'll show your support for my channel, I'd greatly appreciate that. And with that said, let's get into Scorpion and man oh man, I have been wanting this figure for the last few years this is one character that is that has been on my wish list um for the past few years that i wanted hasbro to tackle uh he is one of my all-time favorite spider-man villains and i'm just so freaking happy to have him he is super freaking cool uh the toy biz one was Awesome. I love that figure. Uh, the only thing was that the scorpion tail had a gimmicky fe feature on that. So, you, you know, you had a, like a little button and it would shoot like a missile. But this one, no gimmicky feature. Uh, so it's, it's, we get just the um, pointy tail on it and uh, the pointy stinger. It is really, really cool this time around. So no funky gimmicky features. I like this a lot. I'm happy about that. The gimmicky features were getting a little played out at the time. So this is freaking awesome. Like, ah, oh, it's just so freaking awesome. It's Bendy Wire, people. Bendy Wire. Ah, I love this. I freaking love this. This is amazing. I had such fun. Posing this guy around, he is spectacular. Um, taking a closer look at Scorpion, here you can see his sculpt and just looking at that mouth. So they went with an old school look on this with the mouth covered from the mask. And I just wish we had an alternate head with this because uh, they could have totally done it. As you see, there's this sculpt right here, that line. You can, they could have totally made an alternate head and just flushed this out with the skin tone. Just put some flush skin tone on it. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're, you're gold right there. So, um, don't know why they didn't include that, but I could imagine that all the expenses went to this <laughs> towards the bendy wire. So a lot of marbling going around with this figure. Definitely a lot of marbling, but I, I, it doesn't bother me because this, you know, he, uh, because he's armored, you know, so I want that kind of shiny feel, that shiny look. So it doesn't bother me. For all I know, it's a brand new sculpt um, all around, uh, except for like maybe the hands and the feet. But just taking a closer look here at the paint, what really impresses me is that I don't know if it's comic shading, but on the boots, you see it's a dark green, but you see some light shading throughout. Like, you definitely see some shades of paint through the throughout the gloves and the boots. So, yeah, as you can see a little bit right there. So, uh, I don't know if it's with the paint job that is making the, you know, it's probably just a marbling look on the boot, but I don't know. I think it's pretty cool because it kind of looks like some <laughs> comic shading for uh, Scorpion. Uh, again, brand new mold as far as I'm concerned. Uh, we have a new articulation cut right here, so the it's not the traditional hinge ab crunch. So this does have uh, a swivel and a rocker joint, so he can move around and you can get those scorpion-like poses. Really dope. And I like this a lot. Here's a look at the back. Um, it is not removable, even though I feel like it could be removed, but I don't want to force it that much. Um, and just looking at the tail here, oh, this is amazing. Look at this. This thing, and I measured it, so, um, whew, man, that is a long, long tail. 
and my measure my measuring tape is not going to fit on the screen but i did measure from the top here all the way to the tip of the stinger it measures about 16.1 inches and if you measure him waist down the tail waist down all the way to the stinger we're talking about 15 inches of room to play with the bendy wire tail so that is super freaking impressive and taking a look again at this uh tail uh do you re you realize this pattern and um i'm just thinking man this could have been totally doable for doc ock like it totally would have been doable i'm just taking a look here at the Doc Ock tentacle, right? I mean, look at that. Hasbro totally could have pulled off a bendy wire for Doc Ock. Maybe we'll get one down the line, who knows? Uh, but just letting you know that it was totally doable. Look at the sculpt. Maybe they wanted extra sculpting here. You know, uh, as you see, this part is different. But, man, I don't care about that. As long as, you know, the classic Doc Ock, it was just plain, just like this. And, you know, I would have preferred Bendy Wire for Doc Ock. Um, so, I wouldn't mind just having the plain, plain look. Uh, but, yo, it is. This figure is sick, man. I really love it. Uh, this was definitely my most anticipated figure out of this wave. So without further ado, let's get into some articulation. Actually, before I get into articulation, I do want to say I wish he had alternate hands. Um, I wish he had a, another set like a maybe wall crawling hands because he's another, he's a character that wall crawls, you know, uh, and has some intense battle scenes with Spider-Man in the comics because, well, he can... Their powers are almost very similar when it comes to things like that. Um, oh man, it would have been cool too if we had like an acid spray effect for his um, his stinger. That would have been dope. Uh, I would have loved that. I could talk, you know, about many things I would have wished for this figure to include, but I'm still happy overall. I'm totally happy with this guy. And one thing to mention about his stinger is that it is pliable it's not you know super pointy so you won't be able to draw blood and feel the effects of scorpion's poison so you know you'll be safe to cover articulation his head moves up that much so great amount and again this is another reason why i wish he had wall crawling hands with this one um ah oh, man that would have made for some great posing, but um, I'll find ways to, you know, uh, make him look like he's using his wall crawling abilities. So, again, that looks great. His head moves that far down, and it moves left and right. He's got some pivoting here. His arms move that far up, and it moves all around. You got the bicep swivel, great double jointed elbows. They bend in that much. You could scratch his neck. <laughs> uh, wrist swivel, got the wrist hinge. And as I pointed out before, his uh, waist swivel, torso swivel, I should say. It's really nice, you know. Got that all around movement. It moves this far forward, this far back and yeah this this might hinder it a little bit but not much you'll 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 see it's not that big of a deal and he's got the waist swivel that has a very ratchet joint um his legs spread out that far which is awesome he's got his legs that move that far up and this far back He's got leg rotation, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, and heel to the scorpion stinger butt, which is awesome. And he's got the boot swivel, calf swivel, and his ankles move up, down, and ankle pivot. 
So I am super happy with how this guy came out. And for a quick comparison, here is the Scorpion next to the McFarlane Raft San Diego Comic Con exclusive Spider-Man. And uh, I really, really like this, except I maybe, I wish that maybe Scorpion was a little bit taller. That's just me. I would just like him uh, a little bit taller. But for the most part, I mean, uh, it still looks good. And uh, I love the fact that you can just take the bendy wire and, you know, wrap it all around Spider-Man if you want, you know, uh, do something like that and create your own dynamic uh, fight scene. But, uh, yeah, I'm doing some terrible posing here, <laughs> but is this bendy wire is a little, you got to work it a little bit here. It might not, I want to see how far it coils all the way. And yeah, you can <laughs> do something like this where, you know, he's got them all constricted and just ready to squeeze the life out of the freaking spider. So yeah, it is uh it is awesome with this bendy wire feature you guys are gonna have a blast with this so that is uh really fun and i didn't put any effort into this this is just for show this figure is awesome uh total awesomeness i highly recommend it definitely get this guy and definitely you know he's going to bolster your spider-man shelf much needed character for our Spider-Man collection. So with that said, that was my review. If you like it, please leave a like on the video, comment, sh you know, and we'll chat about it, share and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next review. Peace, peace.